Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm the author of the young adult novel Essence in historical fantasy novel I Am Mercy. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a book trailer. So book trailers are a great way to help build hype for your novels when they're first coming out and just in general. You know, if you ever have someone asking, hey, what's your book about? You can tell them what it's about and then you can send them over to the link to the book trailer. For both my novels, Essence and I Am Mercy, I made my own book trailer. And if you want to see how I exactly made those, I will leave the link to my old video down below. I kind of go through the steps of how I filmed it, how I edited it, and how I did, you know, all of that. However, not everyone has the ability to film and edit. I'm lucky I am familiar with video production and all that so I know how to make a storyboard and different things like that. But for those of you who maybe don't have a nice camera to film, don't have like an actor or anything that they can use, I'm going to talk about how you can easily make a book trailer without needing to film or take photos or anything like that. So how exactly so how exactly do you make a book trailer without actually filming anything? Well the easy and short answer to that question is that you just make a video slideshow. So think of whenever you go to someone's like birthday party, retirement party, and you know how sometimes they will have like a um, slideshow playing or something, it's just going from picture to picture to picture. That's kind of what we're going to do with our book trailer. Except instead of just being picture after picture, you're going to throw in some text, some graphics, blah, blah blah blah, things to make it cool and make it look like it's not just a picture slideshow. My favorite softwares to use are Animoto and Kazoa. Um, they do have a little bit of a fee depending on what type of membership you want, but it, it's like somewhere between $5 to $50. So it really should be in your price range depending on what you want to do. So now that you know what software you're going to use, you have to now figure out what you're going to throw in there besides text. So we're talking photos and graphics. Now you might have photos that help to inspire your novel. In that case, throw it into the slideshow. Or you might have an artist that you worked with to help kind of draw out what your characters look like. You can also throw that in. The best way to kind of make a book trailer is to watch other people's book trailers. You can watch mine for Essence and I Am Mercy. The links will be down below. In terms of a book trailer that kind of uses the, that slideshow concept, I would recommend watching the book trailer for Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Theirs is just text along with some um, art that a fan drew that was inspired by the book. So maybe you have a fan that's like super eager and wants to draw you the graphics for your book trailer, or maybe you're gonna hire someone to draw the graphics as well. But no matter what, keep in mind, do not grab photos off of the internet that is illegal and if you get caught there will be a fine and you're going to be very upset about it. The next thing you want to include is voiceovers and music. So music really helps create the mood of your book trailer so be very you know finicky when you choose it. Uh, choose royalty free music. This means music that you can either buy the rights to or that anyone can use without worrying about who has the rights and all that. YouTube has a great library of royalty free music that you can use and if you do have to attribute the artist it will say what exactly to put in your description to attribute that artist. You also want to have voiceovers while text is great sometimes voiceovers really help give that final bang of emotion. Um, usually when it's the voiceover it's the main character kind of speaking from their point of view. Even if your book isn't always written in that point of view you can make the book trailer that point of view. It it really just helps throw the person watching the book trailer right into the book and really make them want to read it. If you want examples of a voiceover, feel free to watch the trailers for I Am Mercy and Essence because they are completely led by voiceover and there is no text. Lastly, when you have everything else thrown together, you want to end that book trailer with an end screen that has all the information about the book. This means you want to have your book cover on there, the release date, where they can buy it, your website, and all things like that. This is really the end bang. You know, you've got people convinced, you've got people who want to read the book, so now you're telling them where to go and what the book looks like. And that's all there is to making a book trailer. I hope this really kind of helped you guys. I know the previous video was a more complex version of making a book trailer, but this is kind of making it more simple, making it easier for just about anyone to make a book trailer. So that's it for today's video. If you have any other questions about the process, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.